Tommy, tell me about you. Who, what, what is your full name? So my full name is Tommy Seng Heng, S-E-N-G-H-E-N-G, -E -E and I'm a junior at Olafel. Wow. So how did you get to know Miss Veronica Davis? Because she asked me to interview you for the your computer code uh, buster class. So I got to know her because I heard that they, the school is starting a computer science class. And I wanted to get that into my schedule, so I went to the uh, uh, counselors and I said, I need to get this class, how can I met, uh, like adjust my schedule in order to have the class? And that's, and that's the first time I got to, well, the first time I saw Miss Davis was in a math class. And so this isn't my first, first time seeing her, but this is the first time I'm seeing her as a computer science teacher. Oh, okay. So. I heard you started this whole program. Tell us about that. So, um, I personally really liked to code or to program since I was in seventh grade. So the re I started the club in order to uh, find other people who have a similar interest and who may not have had enough, who ha may not have had enough uh, guidance or. Uh, didn't were discouraged by doing it alone, so uh, I I brought in as many people as I could who really were interested in code. So uh, it ranged from beginners to people who have just like started or are a little bit iffy on what they want to do with code. So uh, the club was really to teach people code to and to explore what we can get done in a short amount of time as the school year. Who was the most influential person in your life that, other than your parents? The most influential person in my life was probably Mr. Tanyatkina, or Mr. Tanyatkin, who is uh, the husband of Mr. Ten Ms. Tanyatkina. So Ms. Tanyatkina was my English teacher in my seventh grade year at Renaissance Academy. And she stayed after school with her husband, Mr. Tanyatkin. And my friend at the time, and I were really interested in what he was doing because we saw on his laptop he was programming. Mm -hmm. So we stayed after school and asked, talked to him and asked if he could stay after school and teach us programming. And he agreed and after that we started taking advantage of this new opportunity to learn to code. So we stayed after school individually and in our spare time we would program and uh, me and my best friend would actually give each other coding challenges. So like I gave him an idea and he'd give me an idea and we'd both come back like the next day or the day after with the finished project or close enough to finish that it was we could present it to each who, other. Who, who, is, who is that friend? Is uh, he, his name was Isaac Sebastian. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is, I heard a lot about Joshua working with you and you are, what is your position in your club? Uh, I'm the president of the club. Oh. And Josh is vice president. Oh, okay. okay. And uh, who, who decided that you, you are the president? Um, because I had more experience than Josh, everyone by default said, the guy that knows more should be the president. Oh, okay. And then, but Josh is really the leadership of everyone. Oh, okay. So that's a good thing. Yeah. What is the one thing that you did that anyone can do to achieve what you have accomplished? Um, it really helps to have a, like, I want to say friendly competition. So me and my friend Isaac would really, uh, play off of each other and like compete with each other who can make a cooler game well, not necessarily who can make a cooler like cooler game but like just showing off to each other and showing oh that's really cool that's really cool you know uh, another thing is probably take advantage of as many resources as you can in your spare time you and a friend maybe could go online look up uh, resources like Khan, uh, Khan, Ac no, yeah, Khan Academy I think has some code coding classes now uh, Code HS and Code Academy, and there's like plenty of resources online where you can learn to code or practice coding online. So I found that to be really helpful when I was first starting out. Um, yeah. So how how does your parents has influenced you? Because you know I hear so many times that this school is better and that school is better, but. Do you really think is a school or is your parents has a lot influence in what you are? Um, I think my parents played a very large role in being able to 
uh, pursue my passion because my parents provided the support and a safe home environment. Um, they were able to basically keep me well fed and like they basically took care of me while I was focused on schoolwork or focused on uh, programming so that then I can develop myself as a person and uh, pursue my passion. Okay. And uh, was there a teacher that inspired you in the classroom? Uh, yes, Mr. Day was very uh, inspirational when I uh, first showed up at Overfelt because uh, his methods of teaching were a bit different from how I was used to in middle school. In middle school, they would give you, uh, or the teachers would give you worksheets and had expect you to fill it out and understand just from the worksheet. Mr. Day, on the other hand, did not give you any worksheets necessarily that you had to complete. It was more like optional work. And so he gave you the freedom to explore your own personal way of learning and studying, which I, which I saw as very valuable. So I uh, used that to practice my ability to research and comprehend on my own individually. And so I learned how, from him, I learned how to uh, teach myself, which also furthered my ability to research into programming, as well as basically any other class. So, so what kind of games are you developing or, uh, you know, things you're doing in your coding class? Uh, in my coding class, we, it's an introductory class, and as I said, I, was, I started programming since seventh grade. So I don't really follow along with the class necessarily, although she does give assignments. I usually do my own development, game development along with Joshua. So we've been working mostly with RPG style games, although I've been moving towards more uh, complex ideas like neural networking or uh, multiplayer games, stuff like that, that are really hard to get your head wrapped around if you don't do a lot of practice with it. So. Um, at the presentation, I was showing a uh, mul multiplayer platformer, which was a bit new to me, and it took me a very long time, but I stuck with it. So uh, the type of games that I'm developing are mostly uh, multiplayer. I'm trying to get into multiplayer, and because I like playing with other friends, too. So showing off my game is fun and all, but if I if I can get my friend to play it with me, it's even fun, more fun. Yeah, because you don't want to be alone playing. Yeah. That, there's no competition. Exactly. <laughs> okay. So, tell me, where are you, where are you going to go to school from here? What are your goals? Um, I'm not sure if I want to specifically go into game development, although that's something that's on the table for me. I more generally want to go into maybe app development or neural going into the field of neural networking and machine learning. Mm. So I want to go into stuff where like computers can do speech recognition or like basically learn on its own. So that's what I've been going into if I don't go into game development. Yeah. So what do you like to do when you're not in school? Programming. Programming. <laughs> uh, whenever I have free time outside of school besides doing homework, I usually uh, program and continuously develop my skills as a programmer and problem solver. So you're not just coming to school only, you do a lot more after hours and uh, how is the William Overfeld is helping you on those things? Um, yeah, so I spend a lot of time outside of class just uh, programming a lot and Overfeld specifically I think really helped because with one, starting the club, and two, uh, just um, being able to work on everything outside of class because of the sense of community. The, my, the sense of community here at Overfelt really helped me like, build, make friends and find people with similar interests. And I don't feel like there's any antagonism at Overfelt. I don't feel like anyone's going to start a fight or is anyone going to, uh, like, you know, be aggressive towards me. So it really helped me just go up to any anyone I feel like is nice and ask or and become friends, you know. Well, thank you for being the leader in the class and helping other students. I heard a lot about you from Joshua. He really highly thinks of you. I hope you keep that continuous with the other students.
Thank you. Thank you.